What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, guys, we officially have it. We now know every single Pokemon that is going to be returning inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and unfortunately every single Pokemon that has been cut and deleted from these games. Now you guys know that the games have been leaking for the past couple of days, but now we finally have pretty much all of the Pokedex pages and everything compiled together to know which Pokemon did make it into the final version of the game. So we're going to be taking a look at every single Pokemon from all of the past generations, except for like the new Pokemon, obviously, and just see which Pokemons made it into the game and which ones didn't. And you guys will be able to see if your favorites made it into the game too. I'll also have timestamps by generation inside of the video, so you'll just be able to click to each generation and kind of see which Pokemon made it in. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am partnered with Best Buy now, and so there will be links below in the description and the pinned comment to Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet, and even the Double Pack. If you click those links and then pre-order from there, you can really support me and help out the channel a lot, so I would really appreciate it. And Best Buy is awesome because they'll actually give you free shipping and send the game right to your house day one, so if you want to play the games the day that they're available and have them delivered right to your doorstep, then definitely consider pre-ordering from the links below in the description or the pinned comment. I would really appreciate it. And these games are looking pretty cool, so I know a lot of you guys definitely want them. Alright, so starting off this list here with all of the returning Pokemon from Generation 1, the Kanto region, obviously Pikachu. You wouldn't have a Pokemon game if the mascot of Pokemon wasn't in there. So we've got Pikachu. We've got, of course, the evolution with Raichu. We've got Jigglypuff in here. We've got Wigglytuff. We've got Venonat, Venomoth, Diglett. Dugtrio, Meowth, Persian, uh, Psyduck, Golduck, Mankey, Primeape, Growlithe, Arcanine, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Magnemite, Magneton. These definitely look really nice though with the shiny metal. Like I really like how the models look. You, you guys are going to see like as we go through this, the models look really good. Uh, we got Grimer here. We got Muck here. Shelder, Cloyster, Ghastly, Haunter. Gengar, Drowsy, Hypno, Voltorb, Electrode, Chansey, Scyther, Tauros, Magikarp, Gyarados, Ditto, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragon Knight. So those are all of the returning Kanto Pokemon. Obviously, we know that there are going to be some other Pokemon like Charizard, which are going to be coming back in terms of like the raid events and stuff. But in terms of what's going to be in the game day one, those are all of the Kanto Pokemon. All right, so moving into generation two with the Johto region, of course, we've got the baby Pokemon. So we've got Pichu here. We've got Igglybuff, Mareep, Falafi, Ampharos, Meryl, Azumarill, Sudowoodo, Hopip, Skipbloom, Jumpluff, Seedot, Sunkern, Wooper, Espeon, Umbreon, Murkrow, Slowking, Mistrevious, Girafferig, Pineco, Fortress, Dunsparce, Quillfish, Scizor, Heracross, Sneasel, Teddy Ursa, Ursaring, Delibird, Houndor, Houndoom, Flaffy, Donphan, Stantler, Blissey, Larvitar, Pupitar, and Tyranitar. So yeah, those are pretty much all of the Pokemon that are going to be here from the Johto region. A pretty good list, I would say, and some pretty cool ones that we can see uh, in terms of like Wooper getting a brand new form. Now moving into Generation 3, we've got Wingle here. Of course, the Evolution Pelipper. Gotta have that Drizzle Pokemon so you can set up the rain in competitive battles. Then we've got Routes here, Kirlia, Gardevoir, Surskit, Masquerain, Shroomish, Breloom. Definitely some Pokemon that I really like that I feel like were forgotten. So I'm happy Breloom is in here. Uh, we've got Slakoth, uh, Vigoroth, and Slaking. Some pretty cool Pokemon from Gen 3. Uh, Makuhita, Hariyama, Azuril, Sableye, Meditite, Metacham, uh, Gulpin, Swalot, Numel, Camperupt, Torkoal, Spoink, Grumpig, uh, Cacnea, Cacturn, Swablu, Altaria, uh, Saviper, Zangoose, or <laughs> I have both of them there. Uh, I don't know which one was which page. Uh, we got here uh, Basculin, I think is the name of his. Not Basculin, it's Barbaroach. Yeah, this is Barbaroach. And then we've got Wishcash, uh, Shuppet in here, Banette, Tropius, Snowrunt, uh, Glalie, Love Disc, Bagon, Shellgon, and Salamence. 
So yeah, those are pretty much all of the Pokemon from Generation 3. I'm happy that a lot of these pseudos are making it into the game. Like we saw Dragonite, we saw Tyranitar, and now we're also seeing Salamence. All right, moving into Generation 4 with the Sinnoh region, we've got the regional bird with Starly, Staravia, Staraptor, Krikatot, Krikatoon, Shinx, Luxio, Luxray, Combi, Vespaquin, Pachirishu, Weasel, Floatzil, Shellosh, Gastrodon, uh, Drifloon, Drifblim, Miss Magius, Honchcrow, uh, Stunky, Skunk Tank, Bronzor, Bronzong, Bonsly, Happini, Spiritum, Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp, Riolu, Lucario, Hippopotas, Hippowdon, Krogunk, Toxicroak, Finion, Luminion, Snover, Abomasuno, Weavile, Magnezone, Leafeon, Glaceon, Gallade, Frostlass, Rotom. Now, I love a lot of Pokemon from Generation 5, so with Gen 5 from the Unova region, we've got Patili, Lilligant, uh, Basculin, which will probably evolve into Basculegion once the Legends Arceus stuff transfers over, Sandile, Crocorock, Crocodile, Zorua, Zorark, uh, Godita, God. Gotherita, Gothitel, that that line, uh, Deerling, and Sawsbuck. Uh, all of these are also really cool because you'll be able to find all the forms throughout like the different areas in the game. Uh, we got Fungus here, Amoongus. We've got Alola Mamola, Tynamo, Electric, and Electros. Uh, Axew, Fracture, Haxorus, uh, Cubchu, Beartic, Cryogonal, uh, Ponyard, Bisharp, Rufflet, Braviary, Dino. Zwilus and Hydreigon, Larvesta, and finally Volcarona. All right, now moving into Generation 6 with the Kalos region, we've got the regional bird with Fletchling, Fletchfinder, Talonflame, Scatterbug, Spewa, Vivillion, Litleo, Pyroar, uh, Flabebe, Floet, Gorgeous, Skiddo, Gogoat, Screlp, Dragalge, Clauncher, Clawitzer, Sylveon, Halucha, Dedene, Gumi, Sligu, Gudra, Klefki, Bergmite, Avalug, Noibat, and finally Noivern. Next up with Generation 7 with the Alola region, we've got Young Goose, Gumshoes, Crab Brawler, Crabominable, Oracorio, Rockruff, Lycanroc, Marini, Toxapex, Mudbray, Mudsdale, Fomantis, Lorantis, Salandit, Salazzle, Bounceweed, Steeny, Serena, Oranguru, Passimian, Sandygast, Palosand, Komala, Mimikyu, and finally, Bruxish. And here we are with the final generation, Generation 8 with the Gala region. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the generation whose Pokemon's names I forget the most. I just didn't really enjoy Pokemon Sword and Shield that much, so I don't really remember a ton of the Pokemon, but I'm gonna try to remember as many of them as I can. So the first one that we've got here is, of course, the Regional Rodent with Scovet, which evolves into Greedunt. We've got Rookie D here, which evolves into Corvus Squire, and then Corvus Knight. We've got Choodle here, which evolves into Dredna. Uh, this one is uh, Roly Coley, I think. I can't remember the name of its evolution. I know the final one is called Colossal, so we've got that here, the Fire and Rock Pokemon. Uh, this one, I forget the name of it too. It's the Apple Pokemon. It evolves into Falapple, I think, and then this one is Appleton. So I remember those two, but I can't remember the name of the pre-evolution. Uh, this one I think is called like Silcobra or something. And then it evolves into Sanaconda. Uh, this one I think is called like uh, Barracuda or something. And then the evolution is like Barrascuta, something like that, I think. So we've got that here. Uh, this one is Toxel, which evolves into Toxtricity. Uh, this is Sinistee, which evolves into Poltegeist. This one I forget the name of. It's like that little hat Hatterini or something I think it's called. Hat, hat turn or something like that i don't know at the final evolution i know it's a psychic and fairy type pokemon uh so yeah i know that one here this one is impidimp which uh, i forget the name of its evolution i know the, i know the final one is called grimmsnarl so that whole line is going to be inside of this game uh this is phalanx in here so i remember phalanx is here uh this is the electric urchin pokemon i can't remember the name of that that's in here uh, snom of course is in here as well as Frostmoth. uh stone journers here this is, of course, that uh, penguin Pokemon, which I cannot remember the name of. That's here. Uh, this is Indeedee. And then this is the elephant Pokemon, Elephant or something like that, I think it's called. And then uh, this is uh, Copperaja. And then, of course, we got Dreepy here. 
and then Dracolok, and then finally the final evolution with the pseudo being Dragapult. But yeah, that is pretty much every single returning Pokemon that is going to be inside of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Day 1. So these will be all the Pokemon that you're going to see returning when the games come out in just a couple days. Obviously, the games could potentially be getting DLC, which is looking very likely too. And you guys know with Pokemon Sword and Shield's DLC, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra did add back a lot of other Pokemon too. So it's very possible that with the DLC for these games, they could add like another 200 Pokemon back into the game from older games. But yeah, as for what you're going to be getting day one, it's pretty much going to be that. And you're also going to be seeing that there are going to be some types of events that are going to be happening. Like you didn't see Charizard in this video, but we do know that Charizard is going to be in the game in terms of like a raid event that's going to be happening in December. So I'm sure they could be doing that to adding some other Pokemon too. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this. Did your favorite Pokemon make it into the game? Did it not make it in? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow so you can be featured in videos. And also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros. and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.